Hi guys, it's Nate. Welcome to another vlog. It's January 31, Monday, 8.56 a.m. Start of a new week. Today is a weird day because today is a working day, but tomorrow is a holiday. Yesterday was Sunday. So, I don't know, just be super productive today, I guess, to make up for tomorrow's holiday. Today's vlog is primarily gonna be at home, so it's a home vlog. But for today's vlog, I think I want to share with you my Feb morning routine situation that I'm kind of planning. And I also want to show you some new books I picked up, as well as my general Feb TBR list slash pile books that I want to get through hopefully because I've been in a reading just happiness <laughs> I was like thinking the opposite of a reading rut and I'm like what's the opposite of a rut like happiness <laughs> so my reading happiness um yeah I'll talk more about that later but for now I have to actually work okay another update by the way if I'm talking weird it's because I have this huge sing out I'm gonna put meds maybe later I'll talk to you guys in a bit. By the way, I made a chai latte today and it's kind of spicy. I think the chai concentrate I use is called vanilla spiced masala chai. So it does have that spicy kick to it. So I want to try the normal one next time, but it's pretty good. And I really like the Rude Health Barista Almond Milk. So good, kind of sweet. And I got new coasters. They're from this IG store called The Lobe. And look at the details. They're so precious. So this is actually glass, so that's nice. It's pretty sturdy and you get a lot of allowance. I was really scared about the clay getting wet, but I think it, sh it should be fine. But this one's gorgeous. Look at the details. So pretty. I will link them down below. But yeah, I'm obsessed. So we ordered some food so we can send some to our grandma relatives, you know? So we always order from this catering business called Eight Spoons and they're just the best, like the packaging is always really great. So we ordered these things. Oops, I have to check what these things are because we're gonna send them. So I have to fix things, but I also want to show you guys. Oh, this is the belly chon. See, everything's like packaged so nicely. So I'm assuming these two are belly chon. This one. Oh no, this is this is the salad. This huge thing is probably tape. This huge thing is a thing of turkey. And it looks big, so good luck to us eating that. And these two are desserts. Let me open them so I can show them to you guys. Here are the desserts we ordered. Chilled mango soup with almond, jelly, and tapioca. I just kind of miss the flavor of chilled mango soup things. And then they got they gave us free frozen buko pandan, frozen banoffee, and I think this is probably fruit cocktail, so I'll just give this away. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these, so family, you, you know. I'm gonna put them in the freezer. Here's a better view of the food. So this is the shrimp and scallops oriental pasta, the salad, yum, and the salsa dressing thing. And then this is the belly chon. I don't really want to open it because we're having it for... Okay, you can't see anything. It looks so good. I'm not gonna eat it yet. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Comes with some suka. Sarsa. And then the char shu turkey. I didn't really open it. And apparently it comes with wrappers. So it's like the pecking duck but a turkey. So it comes with wrappers, cucumbers, leeks, cantaloupe, lettuce, pea sprouts, and arugula. Oh. Where? I don't even know. But it comes with all of those sauces. Maybe it's inside. Yeah, arugula's inside. But we're gonna have a lit dinner. Like, I'm kind of tempted to eat this. Guys, I can't help myself. I think I'm just gonna have lunch now and I'm gonna have the salad and the pasta. I don't think my family will mind. As long as I just don't touch the lechon and the turkey, they're good.
That was such a good meal. The pasta was so good. It's like the Charlie Chan pasta from Yellow Cab, but I think it was better because there were like big shrimps and everything. So good. I highly recommend. Now, I'm just gonna crush my to-do list. I'm gonna sit there in my seat just to finish everything that I need to be doing and I'll just update you in a bit. I'm just gonna be a work dean. Hi guys! Just a little update. I'm still working but I thought that I'd do a quick little break because it's already 3.35 and I don't want the sun to set because I want to show you my fab TBR list. Hopefully, realistically, I'm thinking that I can get through this. There's four. I'm hoping that I can get through these because I'm currently really into reading and I just want to roll with it. Here are my picks for the month of Feb. I have two fiction and two non-fic. I'll just show you the two non-fic ones first. The first one is Stephen King's On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft. And I've heard so many good things about this book since I was in college, I think. I haven't really read a lot of Stephen King novels. I've only read The Shining, but he is a legend, so I think I can get something out of this book. Wait, I'm gonna read the back. It says, part memoir, part masterclass by one of the best-selling authors of all time. This superb volume is a revealing and practical view of the writer's craft, comprising the basic tools of the trade every writer must have. I picked this up because I'm interested in writing. <laughs> the next book that I have on my list is Crazy Love, Overwhelmed by a Relentless God by Francis Chan. So this is a religious book and I just need inspiration when it comes to that, I guess. And Francis Chan, his, I have only read like 50 pages. His writing is very no-nonsense first chapter really makes you kind of like reminds you about God's magnitude and how you should fear him. It's actually kind of scary so yeah I think I can get through this. The back of this book says first line says God is love and then have you ever wondered if we're missing it? It's crazy if you think about it. The God of the universe, the creator of nitrogen and pine needles, galaxies and E minor loves us with a radical, unconditioning, self-sacrificing love. And what is our typical response? We go to church, sing songs, and try not to cuss. Whether you verbalized it yet or not, we all know something's wrong. Does something deep inside your heart long to break free from the status quo? Are you hungry for an authentic faith that addresses the problems of our world with tangible, even radical solutions? God is calling you to a passionate love relationship with himself. Because the answer to religious complacency isn't working harder at the list of do's and don'ts. It's falling in love with God. And once you encounter his love, as Francis describes it, you will never be the same. Because when you're wildly in love with someone, it changes everything. My intention for Feb is to seek out those God encounters and God moments, however little or big they might be. So I'm gonna try to not heavily rely on my devices. I think I just need more quiet time and moments wherein I'm not plugged into my earphones or something. And then, then the next two are the fiction picks. The first one is A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Tolls. No one really recommended this to me except for fully booked. It was in the bestsellers list. And I picked this up because it's about this man who I think is in house arrest and I felt like that was pretty much uh, relatable with how we're living right now. I'm gonna read the back of this. It says, he can't leave and you won't want to. When, in 1922, 30-year-old Count Alexander Rostov is deemed an unrepentant aristocrat by a Bolshevik tribunal, he is sentenced to house arrest in the Metropole, a grand hotel near the Kremlin. An indomitable man of... <sighs> Guys, why is the word kind of hard to say out loud? I'm sorry, the Singao is killing me, so that's all I'm gonna read about that. And the last book that I have for this month is My Year Abroad by Chang Rei Li. I'm not gonna lie, I picked this up in the physical bookstore, so I got to see the beauty of this cover, and it totally just 
drew me in. Yes, I am judging a book by its cover. I read the back and it looked interesting. An exuberant and entertaining story of a, of a young American life transformed by an unusual Asian adventure and about the human capacities for pleasure, pain, and connection. Okay, so that's everything that I have for Feb. Okay, also I have some other books that I've picked up but I still haven't read. I have these books from last year. One is called Against Creativity by Ollie Mould. Again, I've read like just this bit. Like I wasn't really getting into things last year. So hopefully I can re-pick this up on like March maybe. Even this book by Ali Smith, I read the same amount, like the first 34 pages, but I couldn't get into this book at all. Something about the writing style wasn't really meshing with me, but I've seen a lot of people read this book and they seem to like it, so I'm obviously gonna give it another chance. And then the last book I see recommended so many times, it's a memoir educated by Tara Westover. Yeah, I really like reading memoirs and about people's life experiences. I think it's very inspiring and it just helps you form a better understanding of the world. So those are the books that I have physically. Hopefully I read them. Yeah, that's why I'm making a video about this so that I'm more motivated to like read it because now I have to update you guys on how I did. Okay, that's it for my book talk. Done with the workout, I kind of cheated and I didn't like actually finish it. I'm sorry at self, but I'm gonna get ready for dinner. Hello, let me show you what we're having for Chinese New Year. Which, this is a very rare occurrence. By the way, we still have our Christmas tree. Yes, that is real and true. Here we have the salad. This is scallops. I think this is black chicken. Taro balls. Shrimp. Asparibs. Crab with tanghon. I think this is pork. This is the lechon. And then the turkey. Hi guys, it's the next day, Feb 1. Happy Chinese New Year! Yay, it's a new year! I'm wearing a red shirt for Chinese New Year. And this is my Chinese New Year cup. It's a rat because I'm near the rat. Sing out update, it's still there and it's still quite large. So it's really hard for me to talk. So I'm sorry if I look like I'm in pain because I am. But I wanted to share with you my healthy habits, life plan for Feb. I know that morning routines are just so overdone and over spoken. Like everyone talks about having morning routines and waking up early to be more productive, whatever. But I really do feel like there are benefits to it. For me, waking up early is like a way to give you more time. Especially for me, since I don't like sleeping late, I would just wake up early. So here's my morning routine life plan and it will take me approximately one hour to one hour and 30 minutes. I just don't want to rush myself. I want it to be a slow thing and like a calming thing for me to do in the morning. I thought that I'd put set times for each task 
because I've never really done that. Like I've always had the tasks and I think having a set timer would just organize things and give me, you know, like a eyeball of how long it will actually take. Okay, so the first task is a 10 minute walk. I love morning walks because it's also a great time to get some sun. Although if I'm waking up early, the sun's not really out yet, but it's still like fresh air, it's walking, very gentle. My intention is to not bring my phone out, not to not listen to music, to not listen to a podcast, and just listen to the birds, the wind, the silence, I don't know, maybe cars passing by. I just feel that majority of the day I'm listening to something. May it be a video or music or a podcast, which isn't bad, but I just need more silence in my life. And my 10 minute walking thing, I also intend to just have that moment to pray or talk to God and align myself for the day. Hopefully this works. <laughs> okay, and then afterwards, I'm planning to do a 10 minute jump rope. Since I'm already outside, I just go into the garage and then I just start jumping for 10 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, last month, I probably jump roped twice or thrice the whole month. So this is gonna be an adjustment and it's a challenge. And then after jump rope, I plan to do a 10 minute stretch or some math workout like Pilates, just something super gentle to stretch out my body because that's really important for me in the mornings just to make my body feel good. I don't know, I just love feeling in tune with my body and like doing the stretches. I usually shower after I sweat and stuff. I didn't really write that down in my life plan but other things aside from like breakfast and stuff is 10 minutes of reading and it's just another way for me to slow down and be more intentional because you know reading requires a lot of focus i just want to lessen the times that i'm multitasking and i just want to be focused in one task um i'm planning to read preferably a non-fiction book in the mornings for the 10 minute thing just so that i don't really get super sucked in the storylines of things. The next thing I wrote is 10 minutes tidy and this is also related to like making your bed in the morning. I always have clothes hung up on this chair so just putting back the clothes in the closet and also my desk is always messy so just a bit of tidying up. It's not too deep and um, yeah I think that would be good for me. And then the last thing that I wrote here is 10 minute gratitude slash to-do list so i always have to write down my to-do list and get myself in order make a plan of my day make sure i'm not missing out anything and just writing down what i have to do for the day and i just put the gra practicing gratitude in the same row in the same 10 minutes because it's related to a journal or a planner so i can just stack them together because it doesn't really take that long to write out things you're grateful for one two three four five okay so these are six items and they're all 10 minutes each so it's gonna take me at least one hour to do everything which is why i put the leeway of like one hour and 30 minutes kind of time frame and i want to do these things slowly so that's why i have to wake up at, at least 6 a.m. Yeah, I guess that's just my life plan for Feb and I will update you guys with how it is if I feel better or whatever. I really value having my mornings to myself and doing these little tasks that again are so overdone like on TikTok or whatever. Like it's overdone because it really helps and it really works. They're a big walking cliche but I'm not even gonna lie they really help me kind of ground and center myself okay, so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this super chatty session and a home vlog very chill um thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video this video was from my heart to yours see you soon bye